Well, uh, my name is Jonas Birch. I'm the director of Applied Technology. Uh, that means I'm responsible for helping uh, customers uh, to adopt new technologies such, such as the uh, industrial Internet of Things, uh, wireless sensor networks and so on. Yeah. And uh, Emerson, yeah, we, we are uh, well, a uh, 127-year-old company doing automation, so and now we also do uh, Internet of Things solutions or industrial Internet of Things solutions to be more uh, specific. Okay? So we use uh, Internet of Things uh, solutions to help uh, customers improve uh, energy efficiency, uh, reliability, uh, safety and improve their production as well. I think we talked uh, about some of the pitfalls and stumbling blocks, you know, to uh, implementing uh, I Internet of Things, you know. So uh, you need to look at, you know, what are your uh, objectives, for instance, you know. So, uh, and uh, which means you may want to do like a, an audit, you know, to find out from each stakeholder in the plant uh, what they are looking to achieve, you know, uh, with the Internet of Things, you know. Uh, you may uh, you want to make sure that you build your solution on on open standards, you know, so you don't get locked in with a proprietary uh, platform, you know. Uh, you know what, uh, Dr. Minister Vivian Balakrishnan he he said a no regrets uh, path, you know, by building on on, uh, on standards, okay. And yeah, you want to make sure that you uh, incorporate, you know, the technology in your daily work practices, you know, then that is truly digital transformation if you use that new in actionable information that you get from your IoT system. Uh, it's been very encouraging, you know, we have customers on Jurong Island right here in Singapore already using uh, industrial Internet of Things, you know, uh, one of the customers, in fact, managed to reduce their steam consumption by 7%, uh, thanks very much to uh, in industrial Internet of Things solutions, you know, uh, the connected services that we provide, you know, our experts uh, work with the customer and guide them, you know, uh, what improvements they need to, to make, uh, replacement and so on for their equipment, okay? And uh, that's been accelerated very much in Singapore because uh, the involvement of uh, EDB, they in fact encourage the industry, you know, to uh, adopt uh, new technology, okay? And But we see fast followers in, in the region uh, as well. So all over Asia, uh, it looks very, very positive, yeah. To really be part of the ecosystem, you need to go, to comply with the standards. Okay, uh, so for example, for wireless sensor networks, that would be uh, wireless heart. You know, so yeah, if you do build sensors that to be used in an industrial setting, uh, that would be the standard to go with. Okay, uh, if you develop software, you know, make sure that the software uses uh, OPC UA. You know, because that that is. The, the standard for, for tying in uh, software, okay? And uh, then you can be uh, you can be part of the uh, Emerson Solutions, for instance, because yeah, we do have a very great selection of sensors, you know, but uh, not maybe not everything, you know. But you know, then then you can can tie in, you know. And the same thing, we have analytics apps for all kinds of equipment, you know. But if you have something additional, you can also plug in. Uh, as part of uh, our digital ecosystem, you know, and so it, it helps uh, us uh, provide even better solutions for our customers. Yeah.